Dave Porter with Vouch Video. When it comes to wealth development, uh, financial planners, financial advisors in Pennsylvania, uh, New Jersey, New York, I'm standing with Alan Katz. Alan, you've been recognized for the last 50 years really for your strategies. I really appreciate the time to help educate people right now that are getting into their senior ages and, and they're thinking they can't you know, start to put strategy into place. The reality is, is that most individuals don't realize that the resources they have can be positioned to help them achieve their goals pre and post retirement. Everybody's got a bucket list. Some are long, some are small, but the key is that for themselves, for their families, for their businesses, if they have one, and for their communities, there are certain goals and things they want to accomplish. So what we do on a holistic level is to literally help them identify what those goals are and then position the resources to create an opportunity for them to succeed. If I'm sitting at home, approaching a financial advisor or, or financial planner could be a scary thing. Maybe you feel uncomfortable with what you've saved to this point and where you are and sharing that kind of information with someone. We focus on what we call the modest to moderate asset owners. And the reason we do is because this is an underserved population. They don't have enough of the big guys to be able to, willing to work with them as they will with the high net worth individuals. Approaching a financial planner is something everybody should be doing, whether it's me or somebody else, because that's the person professionally that can help you accomplish the things you want. I know you do work with business owners looking to retire and looking to create a strategy. Most businesses are run by individuals who know what they're doing because they've been successful. The challenge is, is that they really don't spend a lot of time on something called succession planning. And for all businesses, big or small, three realities occur at the very end. You're going to sell it, you're going to give it to the kids, or you're going to close it down. And if you follow the things that we're talking about at the other end, you will be able to provide for your kids or make sure that what you're doing and selling it to somebody else gives you the value you want. Or if you dispose of it, which is what happens to a lot of small businesses, you get the best value you can for what it is that you've got. As I look around your office, the thing that really attracts my eye is the certifications. Those who hold those certifications have gone through rigorous training in some cases and taken some significant exams in order to achieve the designation, but also they have to continue CE or continuing education programs to sustain it. I want to thank you for taking the time with us here today, uh, sharing some very, very valuable points in regards to financial planning. What I've learned, it's not too late. Take the time, give Alan a call. His team will take great care in helping you out. Thanks again, Alan. Dave, my pleasure.